Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun treat box for you. It features the On the Ocean bundle from the 2023 Stampin' Up! Spring Catalog. And I have created the Ahoy using our new classic letter stamp set. This will be available March 1st. It's an online exclusive and it's a great alphabet set. Okay, so what's in the box? Well, my daughter actually gave me this idea. She said, Mom, you need to use Chips Ahoy. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. So that's where we came up with the Ahoy banner. Okay, let's start by making our box. Now, there is a free PDF over on my blog that will have these measurements on it. So don't feel like you have to write them all down. Um, there is a free PDF. It's got the measurements and the supply list and two other On the Ocean projects. All right, so this is a five and a half by eight and a half inch or yes <laughs> five and a half inches by eight and a half inches piece of real red cardstock on the short side you're going to score it at one and four and a half and then turn it on the long side and score it at half an inch one and a half four and a half and five and a half all right now you want to grab your bone folder because we want to burnish these lines so that they're nice and crisp. Bone folder will just help you do that and it will make your box nice and square. Okay, now grab your scissors. We are gonna first, on this half inch side right here, we're gonna cut off these rectangles on the corner. And when I do that, I'm also going to cut that at an angle. And I'm going to do the same thing right here and cut that off. Okay. Now, along the sides, you're going to, okay, wait a minute. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Nope, we're going to do this different. Along the sides, you want to cut these two. All right. So cut these two in the middle and then cut off the corners of just that one in the middle. Now do the same thing over here. All right, now when we fold this box in, we want these flaps to be part of, let me make sure I'm doing it right, the sides, yep. So come over here and cut them from the end. Sometimes I have to rethink when I design these boxes and then I don't make the video right away. I have to think, what did I do now? Let's take a look at that again. All right, let's cut that straight, Erica. That's not very straight. There we go. Okay, so let me lay this down so that you can get a good look at it. If you want to pause the video, that'll give you a look at how you're supposed to cut it. Okay, so now grab your adhesive. I'll use Tombow. That's my adhesive of choice really when I'm making boxes. And on the outside of those, I'm gonna put adhesive, and then on the inside of this, these. Now I'm gonna fold that up into there. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna fold these guys around like they're giving it a little hug. All right. I'm gonna hold it there for just a sec. Make sure that adhesive sticks. I like to take clothes pins and just hold them closed for a little while. Let's tuck that one down like that, okay? All right, now we're gonna come back to that in a minute, but let's make all the other things first. We're gonna do something kind of fun with this piece of basic black. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is stamp the skulls all over this piece and emboss them in white. So I'm gonna use my embossing buddy to hopefully release any static that will hold those, the little powder crystals, granules, where we don't want them. We want them to just stick to our stamps. Now, you're not gonna be able to see this because it's clear. All right, but trust me, I am stamping these skulls. Um, it doesn't have to be completely even. Don't worry too much about that. Mine are never even. 
evenly, perfectly spread. But you're only going to be able to see a few of them anyway. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do a couple over here. I can see them pretty well because the the way that the light is shining. All right, so that's Versamark ink. Let's put it in our tray and dump over some white embossing powder all over. And then we'll lift that up and take a look. All right. Now, see these little lines right here? That is because I was rolling my stamp. This stamp, for whatever reason, has a real hard edge. And I tend to roll this stamp. So I'm just going to take a little paintbrush and knock all those lines off because we don't want those. Okay, I think we've got it. Now I'm going to use my reverse tweezers. These come with your embossing um, accessory kit. It's a great way to keep from burning your fingers. <laughs> Now I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool. It's gonna to take about probably 30 seconds to get all of these embossed. You'll know that they are embossed when they turn bright white and shiny. All right, and there is our pirate patterned paper. Now I'm gonna use something that Stampin' Up! doesn't carry anymore. It's a paper distressor. I'm gonna find one on Amazon and link it for you. Um, this is a really fun way to kind of make your paper just a little rough around the edges. You might also try a razor blade, or not a, you know, not a razor blade, maybe a box cutter. That's the word I'm looking for, a box cutter. And I'm just gonna go around and make this kind of distressed. Okay, very nice. Isn't that fun? All right, now let's do our stamping. We've got the pirate ship. And we're going to stamp that pirate ship in stays on black. I like to use stays on with my red rubber stamps. It's a, a richer, darker black than the memento that I use when I'm coloring with my Stampin' Blends. And I'm just going to stamp that right there on uh, a piece of basic white. Now let's talk about the word ahoy. All right, we're going to cut this out in just a second. Let me make room for all the things I've got here. I told you we're using this new awesome um, classic letters stamp set. And one thing that is difficult to do is to get letters stamped straight. But when you have the stamp apparatus, it's easy. You, uh, This is grid paper right here that I'm going to use. Um, and there's also lines, if you can see on the plate of my stamp apparatus, where you can just line those up perfectly. And so I'm going to line my paper... I'm actually gonna to have to cut this paper down. It's a little bit too big, but we're gonna get it centered. Let's see, about right there. Maybe it needs to go up just a little bit. And we'll put that on there and we're gonna ink it in real red. And we're gonna stamp right there. Ahoy! Now, one thing I thought was fun is to take the little wheel stamp and stamp that right in the middle of the O, like that. All right, let's trim it down and then we'll cut out our ship and I think it'll be time to put our box together. This is not what I need. I need this right here. All right. Let's make sure we don't cut it too small. You can see through the gutter right here where your, your blade is gonna go. All right, do we need to cut a little bit off the top? I think we do. Let's see. There we go. Now I'm gonna make the ends. I'm gonna flag them with this punch right here. There we go. Okay, now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. 
And we're going to cut out the ship and we're going to cut out some waves. And I'm going to take the die right here that will cut out our ship. And then this one right here to cut some waves. This is a piece of Starry Sky cardstock. And you want to make sure that your die is lined up. You can see the line there and the dots at the top and at the end of that right there. And then very carefully set your top plate down and run it through. Okay, let's see how we did. Very nice. All right, we have our ship and we have two sets of waves. Now let's check on our box. It should be dry by now. And you know what, there's one other thing we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp, we're gonna make our own um, pirate ribbon in a second, but let's put our Chips Ahoy in here like that, fold it and close it like that. Now let's make our ribbon so we can tie it closed. Let's see, I need my grid paper. And I'm gonna use this natural colored ribbon. I think it's crumb cake. And I'm gonna take my pirate stamp, the one that we just used a minute ago, and my stays on. And I'm just gonna go down and stamp these skulls all the way down however long a piece I need. This just adds some fun whimsy to your project. Turn it over and stamp the other side. All right, let's see if we have a long enough piece. I think we do. Well, maybe we need to stamp a couple more. Well, we'll just go with it. All right, so we're gonna put that there. Tie your pirate ribbon. And Trim that off. Okay, isn't that cute? Now let's get our distressed piece of basic black. And we're gonna adhere that just right over. I'm gonna be kind of generous with my adhesive because it's going down on that ribbon. Right there. Now grab your bone folder again. And I'm gonna make this kind of curved. I'm gonna have it curve out on the ends like that and having it going across like that. So I'm gonna put two dimensionals right there. Now we also need to add our, our waves. So let's see if we can do that. I'm gonna put that like that. And then we'll put some dimensionals. Let's see, we want that a little bit higher. Like that. Does that look good? Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to add another set of waves back here. Like that. And then we will, let's see, do we have enough adhesive on here? I think so. Put that right across there. Okay, now the star of the show is our pirate ship. Tuck that down in there like that. And there you have it. See what I meant about those 
skulls in the back. You're just going to see a few. So don't fret over it. Don't uh, worry about them being perfectly spaced or stamped. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop over to my blog at the free PDF with the measurements and supply list. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.